Blessings, everyone. So I want to take a quick moment to talk to you guys about subtle warfare. And I believe this is important right now for many people because this is a uh, type of warfare that the enemy is uh, predominantly known for because of its effectiveness. Subtle warfare is the most dangerous because it's happening in a place where it, it's difficult to discern. You know, there are some people who are in the midst of subtle warfare and they don't even realize it. But but what they discern is, is that their 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 moods are shifting, their perceptions of themselves, their perceptions of tomorrow, their perceptions of God are slowly being attacked at a very at a very subconscious, at a very low frequency level. And it's not something overt because oftentimes overt actions of the enemy are easy to be diagnosed, easy to be uh, assessed, and, and therefore our engagement into uh, spiritual warfare against these tactics of the demonic realm are, are, are easier because we can see but 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 the, the enemy being more subtle than any beast of the field there's a low level energy of persuasion that the enemy is employing to try to shift people from uh, their their destiny shift people from their position in Christ shift people from their confidence and shift people from their faith this is why this form of warfare is the most diabolical and it is the most dangerous. Listen, right now it's important that you, ha you have yourself rooted in truth. Let me tell you something right now. Now more than ever, it is imperative that we are lovers of the truth and that we that we abandon ourselves and our perspectives in a way that we can embrace wholeheartedly what God says, even if our emotions and our history do, do not line up with them. Why? Because that's where the enemy is targeting many people in this hour is through the subtle warfare. You don't belong here. Is that really going to work out? Is, did God really say these type of just uh, 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 almost a non-confrontational question like uh, 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 demonic attacks that come disarming us because they're not overt. They're not they're not clear actions of aggression, but yet they are the most they are the most diabolical and the most uh, um, uh, consequential. And so we have to be on guard. We have to be sober against all the subtle attacks of the enemy, because while the enemy is trying to persuade some the things that he's saying, this is going to happen here. You're not going to make it there. This is this is all these different things that he may be uh, whispering. Let me tell you something. The only thing that's going to happen to you is what God said. The only thing that the only thing that uh, lies in front of you is the plan of God for your life. For those of you who have submitted yourselves unto the plans of God for your life. Amen. That's the only thing coming down the pipeline. And so those lies of the enemy need to be bound up. They first need to be discerned. They need to be discovered. They need to be bound. They need to be rejected. They need to be rebuked. Amen. And, and, and we need to sanctify ourselves wholly in the truth of God for our life and the plan of God and stand firm and rooted in the things that God says because the word is not only your the word is not only your your benefit your health your life but it is your protection it is your fortress hide yourself